Right now, time to connect the dots. When we make the news, make sense. As you know, we're closing schools, suspending sporting events, canceling big events as well. And it's it's not to scare you or, or anybody else. It's all in an effort to hop uh, to stop the spread of the coronavirus and what's called flatten the curve. You've probably been hearing the phrase flatten the curve a lot lately. So why does it matter? Let's connect the dots. One of the big concerns about the coronavirus pandemic is that if the virus spreads too fast, our U.S. healthcare system will get overwhelmed. And that's why the speed of the outbreak really matters. The number of cases increases with time until it reaches a peak. The giant peak you see here on the left is what it looks like without protective measures. The smaller hill is what happens over time if we do take preventative action. So by doing things like canceling sporting events, concerts, big gatherings, you help flatten the curve and save lives. And that is Connecting the Dots. And just to make a finer point on it, if you talk to experts about this, healthcare officials, they'll say they're worried about a time of where there's not going to be enough hospital beds, enough hospital rooms, and where they're actually having to choose between patients because they can't take everybody in. So yeah. that's what they're talking about. That's what they're concerned about more than anything. Kind of a triage situation. Yeah, absolutely. So. Well, weather-wise, a little bit of